Examine the cigar. Suggest Kyle. That's a big cigar! You know what they say about guys with big cigars? <laughs> That's right, Mass Dragon! You know what they say about guys with big cigars? Big cancer! <laughs> Precisely! My, my candy tier list is definitely topped by, like, uh, candies of, of a similar ilk to Pez. It's, it's Pez number one, then, like, Runts, uh, and that concludes my <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have a third place. Jelly beans? The problem is that... I have no interest in Pez dispensers, I just like Pez. And nobody- I seem to be the only one. I think that most people do like Pez, they just don't realize it because Pez is so associated with the particular dispensers that, like, that's the gimmick, and they never really just eat Pez and go, oh, actually, this is a really delicious candy. Uh, and so, it's very easy to get Pez dispensers, and that's a really inefficient way to get Pez candy, and just getting Pez candy, like, they're labeled as refills. <laughs> no, it's just candy, it's not refills. <laughs> so, where actually were we? We were out here, apparently. Now, I suspect there's still plenty to happen in Act 4. Uh, period. <laughs> For example, I can get killed by a lamp. Or a, a chandelier, rather. That's always fun. Everybody likes to get killed by a chandelier. And dead. God, this game is brutal. <laughs> I, did, I, I did not come into this game expecting it to be this brutal. Okay, as always, first thing to do is check whether uh, there's anything going on that we can spy on. I agree, David. I think all of this was the horse. The horse is a mass murderer, but it's, it's, there's a bit of a deeper plot than that, David, because the horse can control minds. And so it, it, the actual murder is being performed by the humans, but the horse is causing it. See the, uh, the distinction there? <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's what I really need to figure out, but I need to be able to turn on the lantern. And to do that, I need lantern oil. No, I need matches. It has lantern oil. Ask Seely about chickens. Don't know nothing, but you don't know anything about your own chickens that are right here. You don't, you don't know about the, they're right here. Is she... Sewing or do well no not with yarn is she doing crochet is she uh knitting ask Seely about knitting what do you think I care about it well you are you are knitting right now so I have reason to believe that you care at least a little bit about knitting since you are knitting at this time. <laughs> Ignore the sounds I'm making. Definitely not sneezing. As we know, the sound one makes when sneezing is actually a cultural phenomenon, and there's naturally no sound except for the exhalation of air while sneezing. And I learned my sneeze from my dad, so you can thank him for the particular sound of me sneezing. What an interesting collection of weapons Uncle Henri has, I wonder. Where are you? Oh, you're right there. Okay. You were, you were hidden by the, by the, the text box. Okay. So, that's, that's nice and creepy. That's, that's good. Uh... Lillian has an interest in weapons. I will type into my notes. That's a uh, that's pretty normal. Ask. Oh, I can't. I can't do anything. She's she's escaping. <laughs> Ask Lillian about weapons. 
What about it? You were just staring at them. Oh, okay. Uh, ask Lillian for matches. Ask Lillian about matches. Ask Lillian about dolls. She's really freaking me out there. Okay, great, thanks. Tell Lillian about Lily. <laughs> Quit watching me! Quit watching me! Okay, because this has never worked, I'm gonna save. Tell Lillian about... Who's the latest person to die? Uh, Gloria, I suppose. Well, off to check it out and then come back and tell me I'm crazy. A short time later. You're just imagining things. Oh, Laura, seeing corpses everywhere. Hello. Okay. <laughs> so, Rudy... No, you're not Rudy. Uh, the butler and Fifi are, let's say... Intimate, quote unquote. Search mantle, suggests Sillyvan. Interesting, interesting. <clears throat> but it does, it recognizes the word mantle, even when I spell it wrong. My little crepe Suzette. Oh la la, mon amant. You do the same for me. Ooh. In my... Okay. That's unfortunate. You flatter me too much. Au revoir until then. Okay. <clears throat> Fifi goes to her room to freshen up. Interesting development. That's, so it's unfortunate that it's her room because that's a room I can't really spy on. Can I like hide? Wait. Sit. I would like to hide in this closet and, and spy on them for no real reason. What? It can't be Act 5! Nothing happened! What? <laughs> Apparently it's Act 5. <laughs> I mean, I did learn interesting things in Act 4. I don't think I missed anything in Act 4 that was too critical. Uh... I mean, we've seen Rudy's sexually harassing Fifi. We know that Clarence killed Gloria. Lillian has a weird interest in weapons. We saw Rudy and Clarence having fisticuffs. We saw the butler and Fifi getting intimate. I think we saw plenty. I don't know. Okay. Act 5 is all about Ethel having a good time, says David. <laughs> ah, yes. And welcome Kyle. As, uh, I better accomplish something this stream, because uh, the whole gang's here. <laughs> you never know. Okay, that passed time. I was not expecting that. Clarence is alone in the... That's like the bar, yeah. The lounge, that's what it calls it. I don't think I wanted to pass time there. So I'm gonna undo that. Wow, the sound quality is not bad in this game, says Kyle in chat. Uh, so I am using the... the famous, maybe even infamous, MT-32 simulator, so Rare would be the person who actually had this sound quality in, uh, the 19... This was early 90s, right? Uh, but, uh... 
But uh, if you did, then yes, it, it could actually sound like this. Ooh, we're getting a show. Fiffy cleans up good. She's wearing a white. That's not even really a dress. It's more like undergarments. But let's let's imagine that it's a, a tiny dress. It's like lingerie. Can I take her maid outfit? Stop it! Wear. Ooh, Lillian and the 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 guy the the guy who's a name, the Colonel Henri. Why are you treating me this way? Don't you care how I feel? Don't I matter to you anymore? You matter to me the same way everyone else does. No more and no less. So none. Oh, I don't understand it. I thought I was special. I thought you cared for me more than for Gloria who's dead, or for Rudy who's not, or for, or for any of the others. You're right. You thought that. You were wrong. What about when I used to come and visit you? You were like a father to me. How could you be like this now? I'm afraid you misunderstood a lot of things, Lillian. I was just trying to help my sister, that's all. To me, you were just your insecure, whiny kid. I won't hear any more of this. You're lying to me, Uncle Henri. Somebody's behind this. I just know it, and I intend to find out who it is. Oh, so Lillian suspects something. Lillian is angry at Colonel and suspects something, but I don't know what she suspects. That was, that was a bit of a surprising bit of dialogue there. <laughs> bit has decided I gave Lillian Mickey Mouse's voice. Yes, I am an excellent voice actor. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> huh. Um, wow, okay. I don't know what that changes. Possibly nothing. Uh, what was it I wanted to ask the Colonel about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell Colonel about Fiffy. She ain't no, you don't seem like an ain't kind of guy, but okay. Tell Colonel about, uh, Jeeves? This game is Clue with more steps, says Kyle in chat. Uh, sorta? Okay, thanks, bye. You're as useless as ever, Colonel. He must have matches he smokes. Ask... Colonel for a light. Oh, <laughs> for matches. Oh, wow. Real dick face, isn't he? Show mercy. <laughs> a faint aroma of perfume. Okay. So, the, uh, crawl space behind my room and Rudy Clarence's room has a aroma of perfume. Now, I assume that essentially means, uh, just anyone who is of the female persuasion, given the rest of this game. <laughs> Hello! Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Butler is... Half naked while getting ready for Fiffy. Well, good for you, Butler. What? No male striptease has been in chat. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and steal your roses. 
I can't get that. Flowers don't belong to you. Tell, uh, what the hell is his name, uh, Jeeves, about Colonel? Kindly leave my room. Oh wow, it actually has like a custom, he's shirtless version of that, uh, of the, like, avatar sprite. Interesting. Could also spy on that guy again to advance time, suggests Becklad. I don't really need to have you checked your own pockets for matches, asks <laughs> Fit in chat. I don't really need to pass time, Speclad. I Oh, hello! Oh, now I feel a cold fear spreading ominously throughout my body. There's only been three more deaths before this one, but now the fear comes. Have they all been struck about the head? Is that how they're all uh, killed? Ethel killed and left in garden. Now, we don't really have any suspects for Ethel. Hit fatally on the head with a heavy, blunt instrument. Have matches, please. Uh, can I search her purse? No. I love the X'd out eyes. <laughs> Looking quite lame and silly. It was you, suggests Molo. Yep, definitely. That is not understood. Now it starts to look like a pattern, says <laughs> Yeah, the third uh, death in suspicious circumstances, I mean, it could just be a coincidence, but the fourth, now I'm seeing a bit of a pattern. Third, fourth, fifth, how many are dead? I don't even know. Uh, I don't want to leave because I... Hmm. Smell corpse. Sniff, sniff. <laughs> Eater corpse, open corpse, suggests Speckled in chat. <laughs> open corpse. You can't do that. Hide corpse. Yeah, searching it only seems to do that. Uh, it's weird that I can't get her, uh, get her handbag. Okay, so she was, uh, killed by blow to the head. It's probably fine. And let me guess, let me guess, if I do this, and then that, she's gone. Oh no, look at that, she's still there! She's still, she survived me walking one, well survived, she's, her corpse has remained with me walking one screen away, how about two screens? If it's still there, then this is the most, uh, uh, reliable core, uh, well, that was gone. Well, at least we won't have to hear the she's drunk music. Oh, I didn't, uh, I need to go, I need to, to, parrot. I don't even know if I parroted last time. Parrot is a verb. How dare you question me. <laughs> hey there, Clarence. How you doing? Okay, yeah, he's, he's told me what we already know, that Jeeves and, uh, uh, Fiffy are, are having a, a tryst, which, I don't know why I should care, like, it's fine. Did you go to the carriage house, asked Kyle. I, I haven't gone into it in Act 5. Oh yeah, parrot is a verb. Good point, Molo. <laughs> parrot is a verb even, even without me being silly about it. Hello, young lady. Uh, Laura. Well, he, he does know our name. That's, that's something. Examine the cigar, suggests Kyle. That's a big cigar! You know what they say about guys with big cigars? Light... Lantern with cigar. I, there must be some other trick to lighting the lantern that I just don't understand. I think you can forget about matches, says Specklad, who is reading a walkthrough. Yeah, probably, but I, that just because just because it's not going to happen doesn't mean that I can forget about it. <laughs> That's right, Mass Dragon. You know what they say about guys with big cigars? Big cancer. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> Masked Dragon got it in one, Molo. <laughs> Ask Fiffy if she likes big cigars. Things keep happening. Rudy is here. What is he eating? And is it human flesh? Seems that Rudy Dijon is glorious. Wow, oh, this is just like the general description. It's not understand meal. He'll care about Fiffy. 
Doesn't matter to me what she does as long as she stays out of my way. But you've been sexually harassing her since the beginning of the game. Specklad, I would be very surprised if you can't complete this game just by wandering from room to room. I think the whole point of this game is that it's not so much a win condition. You're just supposed to sort of, for your own enlightenment, sur surmise what's going on. I see nothing. It's just food. It's just generic food. I mean, I could spy on him, but he's alone in here, so I don't know why you would uh, do anything interesting. Oh, hello. Rolling pin. Oh, no! No! <laughs> okay. Suspicious. Rolling pin and footprints found in southwest. Now, we found muddy footprints before. Whoever killed Gloria had uh, muddy footprints. Uh, search footprint? That doesn't really make a lot of sense. Examine footprint. Hey, great, thanks. Yes, I have the monocle, Kyle. I, I am going to examine rolling pin with monocle. Tra well, yeah, okay. So, the the rolling pin may have been used to kill Ethel. Could Seely be the, uh, the murderer? I mean, if so, great. <laughs> I'm gonna show her her rolling pin. Seely, did you do a murder? Bit suggests repent. I really doubt that it'll even recognize the word. Yep. <laughs> oh, I should have used the monocle on the uh, footprint. Why didn't I think to do that? The footprint is probably gone by now. I'm, I hope I didn't save after that. I don't think I did. Okay, it's still there. Using Wilbur's monocle as a magnifying glass, you carefully examine them and see definitely a boot print. An insignia of an eagle on the boot print. Okay. Boot print near rolling pin has insignia of eagle. So are there boots that I can examine and look for... Oh no, it's the Nazis, says Specklad. It was always the Nazis! It was the Nazis all along! Is there a, a boot print? Is there a boot I can examine somewhere? I am still gonna go and show the rolling pin to Seely, because she undoubtedly knows about the rolling pin. Time to shine everyone's shoes, says Pit in chat. And as I'm shining your shoes, I'll just need to look at the underside with this monocle I took off a dead guy. Don't worry, that's not suspicious. Okay, great. <laughs> a rolling pin you presumably are familiar with has been used to kill, but that doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay... Uh, come on, I can't already be Act 6! Give me a break, game! <laughs> Things are happening too fast now! <laughs> it was too slow, and now it's way too fast! It's midnight. Colonel's probably dead. So we have to figure out who's alive and who's dead at the time that the Colonel was killed. That's the critical thing. Hmm. I can't believe it's Act 6 already! Ride wheelchairs. <laughs> Ride? Really? <laughs> it's important to, uh, die on occasion. So, he's actually upstairs, because the elevator is, uh, not here. I don't know what he would be doing upstairs. Maybe he's, uh, spying on Fiffy?
Didn't I just see Jeeves like seconds ago? I don't like the looks of the oh this I don't like the looks of. Other things I like the looks of. This was this is bad though. All the other deaths I liked the looks of the all of those. 